are the Indianapolis Colts in trouble this season? They're off to an 0-2 start, but can they turn their season around? It's tough. Facing the Seahawks, facing the Rams, facing that new and improved NFC West. It's tough. But does it get better? That's the question. Let me first read off the offensive stats, and then I'm going to get to the defensive stats the last two games for the Colts. Team stats. 20th in yards per game, 19th in passing yards per game, 16th in rushing yards per game, and 24th in points per game. That's tough. That really is tough. Now, going on to the defense, 18th in yards allowed, 24th in points allowed. Now, they are decent in the amount of turnovers that they had so far this season. They've had three, and most of it came from fumble recoveries. Awesome. So that shows that they're a very stout and tough defense, can force fumbles, get fumble recoveries. But yards, points, on the offense, on the defense, giving up big plays. Hey, it's been a regular for the Colts so far this season. Can they turn their season around and get better from that? Now, the benefit of the doubt would be to give the Colts, hey, I think that the Colts can be better just because they face the Seahawks, they face the Rams, and our power rankings, these are two top eight teams. In our power rankings. It's going to get better, right? Those numbers might be a little bit inflated. Stats lie. They're going to be better than 18th in yards allowed. They're going to be maybe 15th, going to be top 10 because that Colts defense is great. The talent is there. Well, let's take a look at the schedule that they have coming up for the rest of the season. They have the Tennessee Titans coming up this Sunday, which we just saw that they upset the Seattle Seahawks. So if they're capable of beating the Seahawks, then what makes you think that they can't beat the Colts, who lost to the Seahawks? Then they've got the Dolphins, which is a game that, yes, maybe you have a chance of winning. Okay, so it gets a little bit easier for the Colts. And then after that, you've got the Ravens, top three team on our power rankings. The Houston Texans after that, which on paper, the Colts should win. But the Texans so far this season have been playing spoiler. Almost topped off the Cleveland Browns last Sunday. The 49ers doesn't get easier. The Titans doesn't get easier. Then it gets a little bit easier with the Jets and the Jaguars after that. But then you've got the Bills and the Bucks, two two top five teams that you have to face. The Texans, like we mentioned, could be a spoiler. The Cardinals, who are looking great with Kyler Murray as an MVP candidate. And then the Las Vegas Raiders, the surprise team of the 2021 season. So to answer your question, are the Colts in trouble? A little bit. Can it get better? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a lot of people are wrong. Maybe people are just riding off the Colts. Maybe they can get back to the AFC wildcard race that they were in last season. But I think despite the talent being there, they just got the short end of the stick. It was just pure. The schedule is not in their favor. And it's just going to show that the Colts, even though they might be talented with the tough teams that they have to face, if you're giving up, 20, you're 20th in the NFL and giving up yards to amazing offenses, you're not going to get any better in that category, I feel like. You're still going to face the Bills, the Bucks, the Ravens, uh, some pretty good offenses coming up on the schedule. So I'm not going to say that they, uh, you know, pull an Elliott Harrison, rank them 32nd in the power rankings, and then they surprise everyone and they go 11 to 5, make the playoffs with Andrew Luck and Frank Reich in his first year. I'm saying that. Even though they won't be the worst team in the NFL, more likely than not, they might finish the 2021 season with at least a top 10, top 15 pick. And what you can do with that top 10, top 15 pick is you have to make decisions. Does Chris Ballard use it to improve the defense? Does he use it to improve the offense? you got to make decisions with Carson Wentz. Hey, he just got injured again. This is what we feared. This is what a lot of people feared. This is what people said that this is a knock on Carson Wentz. He just gets hurt a lot. We make the decision on him. Do we keep Wentz for another season, which I don't think would be a bad idea, or do you choose to move on with him and maybe choose a high-end quarterback with the top 10, top 15 pick, maybe trade up? There's a lot of possibilities that you can do in the draft and increase the talent that you already have on that team. Not to mention free agency on top of that as well. You have probably the fifth most salary cap, I think, going into 2022. I could be wrong, but I think it's top five, top 10 and salary cap going into 2022. You use that to improve your team in free agency. You use that top 10, top 15 pick 
to improve in the draft. Then could we be talking about in 2022, them getting back to the uh, AFC playoff push because their schedule in 2022 is going to get a lot easier. Just to uh, look at the 2022 schedule, we've got the NFC East coming up, which if they stay the same as far as talent goes, then they have a good shot at winning a lot of those games. And then you've also got the AFC West, which might be a little bit tough because of the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Broncos, all those teams are 2-0. But it seems like it's going to be a little bit easier uh, this time around in 2022 than in 2021. But I want to ask you guys your opinions. What do you feel like about the Indianapolis Colts? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that they're going to turn their season around? Or do you think that they are just pretty much done for the season and you don't have high hopes for them and you think that, okay, it's better on just let's, let's look at the optimism of 2022. I'm not saying let's tank. Obviously you're going to try to win some games, but on the overall broad perspective, do you think that they have a better shot at making the playoffs in 2022 than they do this season in 2021? Leave your thoughts, leave your comments down below.